Welcome back to more Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility, most likely the finale, everyone. So, it is now the 14th of fall, and let me go ahead and quickly recap about the whole marriage and children in the game, just so you're not confused, because I am simming a lot. So, the day that you get married, make a note of it, because literally two seasons after that, exactly two seasons, you are going to receive the scene in which your wife is pregnant, or you yourself if you are playing as a girl. So, I was on the uh, winter... Winter 15th, that was my marriage day, so two seasons later was summer 15th, and it happened. One week after that scene, you get a scene in which you can choose the gender of your child, so that would be on the 22nd of summer for me. And then uh, one season after the pregnancy date, which would be summer 15th for me, and now it's fall 15, one season after, literally, literally, one season after, you get the scene in which your uh, wife finally delivers birth the baby's coming let's go to the clinic now oh my god <laughs> Jesus all right she's in the clinic now oh man struggling squirming there like say oh oh <laughs> you're in everybody's way wait out what the Jesus that, that was <laughs> Well, I mean, it's true, you know, usually during some parts you don't want the, uh... Well, I, actually, maybe not. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. There we go. Darling, here's our baby. Here's our baby. And there's the baby. What a cute girl. You did a great job. Did, did she just imply that I did a great job putting it inside? What? Oh my... I'm, okay, TMI. Have you thought about the baby's name, honey? What do you think it should be? Um, well... Mia? Hmm, that's a pretty nice name. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with, um... Oh man, it's actually hard. It is hard to decide what the hell I should name this after. Um... Let's go with Monica. Because, you know, it's, it's a name that I like. A girl name that I like, as you already know. So... Yeah, that works. Monica, that's a wonderful name. All right. I've ordered the crib to live. What? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look, look at the way. Oh my! Don't drop to her. Jesus! Did you see the way that Renee was holding the baby? Uh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous, Renee. Don't do that. So cute. This baby is our treasure. <laughs> Why do you keep referring to the baby as this, the baby? The baby, this baby. Oh my god. Alright, well, how do you feel? How do you feel about this, Renee? Let's see. Oh, she's still talking about the seedling of hope. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to go, go to the baby here. Can I do anything? Nope, you're, you're sleeping, that's why. Alright, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go to the Moraine Clinic and another place too. Okay, so after you trigger the scene in which you find out about the Seedling of Hope from the Harvest Goddess in a dream, you actually need to go to Moraine Clinic because that is where you start the scene. The thing is, well, somebody else moved in. What? What time? Oh, 8 a.m. Yeah, somebody else moved in here and also to On the Hook. Throughout the, the whole, like, you know, me just skipping, you know, simming days and whatever, two more villagers moved in, the final two. Okay. Dad, where did Toby go? How should I know? He must be off napping somewhere again. Okay, I'll go look for him. Yeah, this guy right here is known as Paolo. Hmm. Interesting. He's my son. He's got a lot to learn, but he's got the makings of a fine fisherman. Alright, good to know. So that's him. <laughs> yep, just meeting him, you know. So when you enter Moraine Clinic for the first time, after, you know, you get this thing of somebody moving in, this person moves in. Irene, is this enough puntata root? Yes, that's about right. Hello there, a new person. Shiny, this is our new apprentice. Perry, introduce yourself. Hello, I just started working here. My name is Perry. It's nice to meet you. 
Perry's pretty sharp. He's doing very well so far. Jin can't be everywhere at once, so it's certainly handy to have an extra person around here. Oh, I'm still just learning. I couldn't possibly help a patient by myself yet. Well, we'll see. Now, how, how did that medicine turn out? Good, I think. Mixing medicine is easy. Mixing a cake, now that's difficult. Huh, <laughs> wow. That's funny. Alright, so that's the scene. But now the other thing we must do is that... Dude... Where's... Where's Jin? Really? Here's Jin. Ready to work? Alright, so now I have to actually, you know, wait until you sit down or maybe just stand right there. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so again, you have to talk to Jin while working. If you're talking to Jin when he's outside or whatever, that's not going to work. The seedling of hope. Hmm. You know, I found a strange seedling over by the lighthouse. It was bone white with a strong wind winding truck. You should take a look at it. Okay, I will. I definitely will. Let's go. Okay, so now I am on my way to the lighthouse. This is the one and only time in the entire game in which the lighthouse serves a purpose. You have to go up to it, examine or something. Somewhere, I don't know. Let's see here. Um, wait, no, I do have to examine the door. But what? I can't even... What? Um, it's not working. Hello there? What? Okay, this is strange. This is very strange. Maybe I have to go the other... Oh, what? There we go. That was strange. I don't know why that scene was not triggering. So there's a little thing there. Found the seedling of hope. Yes, we got the seedling of hope. Guess what, everyone? Now we actually have to go back to the Goddess Spring, so I will meet you all there. Oh man, it'll be a long journey. Oh, you found it. I've never seen a seedling like that before. I thought I could use it to make medicine, but I couldn't find it in any of my medical books. I hope that the seedling that you're looking for is shiny. I wish you luck. Uh oh, sorry, I, I screwed that up. I think he was saying, I hope that's the CD we're looking for. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut now. Okay, so here we are in the Goddess Spring, and it is time to plant the seedling right here. I planted a seedling of hope. I hope it's the right seedling. Alright. Now what happens? Simply wait and see what happens, right? Um, what's going on? What? It died in like five seconds. Wow. That's... That's saddening. That's so... Oh well. Yep. That actually must happen. That must happen. So, we need another clue now. Alright guys, so the next thing you have to do is actually talk to Kelvin. You must do this. So let's go ahead and talk to him and we get another clue here. Good afternoon. The Seedling of Hope. Hmm. I don't know if it's what you're looking for, but I found a mysterious seedling in the ruins in this mine. According to my research, it's either the Seedling of Hope or the Midas Tree. If you want to check it out, I'll meet you on the 10th floor. Alright, let's go. Let's see what happens. Glad you made it. Let me show you that strange seedling I found. Oh, okay. What a mysterious seedling. Just looking at it, you get the feeling that powerful energy is flowing through it. The seedling is... Um, definitely the seedling of hope. I mean, all three were kind of similar in answers. Well, I'm glad you're so confident. Can you give it to me? There's only one way to be sure, though. Plant this seedling and see if it grows into the mother tree or into the Midas tree. Or, I don't know how to pronounce that, if it's Midas or Midas or whatever. I might be wrong on that. There we go. Okay, time for a cut all the way to the Harvest Goddess Spring once again. So, let's do it. Okay, what, what are you doing now? What are you doing, Kelvin? If that does grow into the Midas tree... Nah, forget it. Um, okay. Let's go. Okay, it is time for the second seedling to be planted. Let's see if this one works. Simply examine it and let's see. Okay, that thing looks so messed up. That thing looks worse than the first one. My guy's like, yes, it worked. But did it? That is the question. Did it actually work? 
Turn around and... It's dead. I don't know what's up with these freaking plants, but they're dying in five seconds. That's actually a very bad thing. Okay, so now that both of these have failed... Yep, it died. It died, unfortunately. Wait, 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 wait. what are you doing here? In the Goddess Spring. What? If it really was the tree, what? Well, we're better off without it. What the? The Midas tree was a legendary tree that shed leaves of solid gold. But wherever it grew, greed and envy spread like a plague. The Midas tree always wound up being destroyed by the men fighting over them. Oh, I see. So if that had grown into a Midas tree, I would have destroyed it anyway. Too much wealth that comes too easily just leads to trouble. It's much better to earn your money through good, good old-fashioned hard work. Ah, very nice, you know, very nice speech. The seedling that you're looking for is supposed to restore this island to its former glory, right? Shiny. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Just keep searching and it'll turn up. Thanks for the pep talk somewhat, you know? <laughs> See ya, Calvin. Alright, so we now have to find Gil, actually. I already tracked him, so let's go. Alright, Gil. Come and tell me some information. Let's do it. Good morning. Ooch, I have a ceiling. Wait, ooch? Did I just say ooch? What the hell is ooch? He said ooh. God damn it. In my backyard, my father. Well, actually, you should ask him about it. He really needs to get it off his chest. Okay, I will. I definitely will. Alright everyone, so just a heads up, you can only trigger this next scene if you actually talk to the mayor when he's in the Sunday Inn on Mondays, Wednesdays, or I believe it's Saturdays? Yeah, Saturday nights after 6pm in a Sunday Inn, so let's do it. Alright, here's the scene. Welcome. Well, I mean, it's not actually the scene. I forgot about the scene. This guy here is another guy that moved in, and I actually did forget about him because when I was talking about the other two, the other two uh, people that moved in, I actually never... Remembered about this guy, but yeah, this is Hayden, the other villager, finally, you know? You're shiny, aren't you? Thanks for coming to our bar. Something like that, yeah. Because I think he, he had a, I think he is a movement. I know Kathy's not, but Kathy only appears, of course, at, uh, at nighttime here in the Sunday Inn, which is basically the bar. I'm Kathy, the waitress here. Nice to meet you. It's funny. It's funny how she technically already met me, but she's saying nice to meet you now because you're supposed to come here after 6 p.m. to actually meet these two people. So, it's it's just funny. Alright, so where's the freaking mayor? Here's the mayor. Let's talk to him right now. I must talk to you. You trigger the scene. Okay. What the hell is wrong with you? The Seedling of Hope? Oh, should I tell people? The Seedling? What? I, uh, I can't tell you. It's a, a secret. Are you okay? What's a secret? Um... It's a secret. A big, big secret involving something hidden somewhere. Where? What's hidden? What about the seed? Where did I... Huh? Look for a building that's very quiet and very sacred. And look under your feet, where a ray of light is shining down. What's hidden? Oh, what's hidden? It's a secret key. It unlocks a door to the seedling. It's very important, so that's why it's a secret. What about the seedling? The seedling. It's very important. You can't let it die. Alright, well, that's the scene. So we have to go to the church now. He's talking about the church, the sacred place. So, let's go. Okay, so it actually has to be a sunny day and no one can be inside the church. Okay, it's not open, but it's... Uh, wait, wait a minute, what time did it open? Oh, 7 a.m.? Alright, let's see. Let's see if anybody's in the church. Please, no. Nobody's in. Nobody's in the church. Let's do it. Let's do it. Examine it. Yeah, nobody can be in the church. So basically, early morning at 7 a.m., that's the best time. And it has to be sunny. It must be sunny day. Okay. So we got a key. That's good. Now we actually have to use this key for, uh, well, something else. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, we got to track Hamilton. He's already tracked, though. Let's go. Okay, so you actually have to wait until Hamilton is not in his house. If he is, you cannot do this following thing. So, what you want to do is simply come over here to this door and then go ahead and grab the key that you have, which would be right here, and let's open it. This triggers a scene in which we can finally get access to a very useful seedling. 
And yes, it is going to be the final seedling of the game, which means that it is it is a correct one. It definitely is. Huh. It just freaking... That arrow is so random. Like, why did they put it there? If I was actually taking control of my character, then yes. But I'm not. It was a cutscene. So why put an arrow? I don't know. But there it is. That is the ceiling. So now let's go to the goddess uh, spring. And let's plant it because we are going to require that. Oh, what the hell? He's coming back. Yes, I got the seedling. That's the seedling from my backyard. You can't just go into a person's house and take things without asking, Shiny. Return the secret key. But maybe it's time to plant the seedling and see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. I've been raising the seedling for so long, hoping that it might just be the seedling of hope. But if you plant it at the Harvest Goddess Spring, and it isn't the seedling of hope, it'll die. And to see it die after all these years of raising it, it might break my heart. Don't worry, we're, we're fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate it. Okay, so here we are in the Harvest Goddess Spring once again. Let's simply come up here and check. It says check. Plant the seed. And this time, good things will happen for sure. Alright, we should come back later. He's like, yeah! He's gonna walk away. Let's see. Oh, actually, he's not gonna turn around. So, I mean, that's that. So, what I have to do now is... Okay, I'll, I'll go back in my house and talk to you guys about it. Okay, just a heads up that you actually have to zone out and zone back in to actually trigger the scene with the harvest sprites. And then the tree can actually start growing because I actually messed up for a few minutes there, wasting time. But yeah, you have to just immediately go back out and then go back into the spring. No problem, harvest sprites, no problem at all. Jeez. Yes, the mother tree will be back. The mother tree will be back in like four days or something. Okay. I'm not reading all this dialogue. I mean, there's five of them. They're gonna say like similar stuff. He's still crying. He's still crying. Freaking Edge. Okay. So now it is actually time to go back to my house. Okay. Yes. Growing just fine. Awesome. So yeah, I have to go back to my house now and let's sleep it off. Okay, back in my place. So once you get that scene, you are actually going to be triggering four different scenes every single night. Or like, wait, well, one every night for a total of four. Four scenes. So yeah, see, that, that's one scene. So you'll get this first scene if you actually have a total of 35 hearts with the villagers. As you can see, it's growing bigger. And the harvest sprites are always dancing right there next to it because that's all they do now. They have no lives. Alright, so that's one scene. Again, that one is for 35 total hearts from your animals. Uh, oh, what the hell? Winter. <laughs> from your animals, um, wild animals, and villagers. So time for the second one. Yes, I'm just going to be simming nights now. Because there's nothing else to do in this game. But just sleep now. Okay, so this scene here unlocks with uh, 40 hearts. So I already have 40 hearts. There we go. Let's go. And now it is time for the third scene, so let's do it. Here it is. As you can see, it is getting bigger and bigger. This one is 45 hearts. Let's go. And the fourth and final scene is coming up. Okay, as you can see, it is now a huge, huge tree, which means that the rainbow that edges, uh, well, edges rainbow, whatever, can go to is actually going to lead to this tree, full height. So now it is time for one more cut, the final cut of the game, I believe, and that is me being next to edges rainbow, so I will see you all in a bit. Okay, so let's now take the rainbow. Oh, I guess we have to, oh, never mind, we can. I was about to say, I think, I think we have to talk to Edge first, but no, we don't. We can just walk on up there, and this will take us to the final portion of the game. 
now loading for like see okay it loads for so long but the now loading only appeared for like one second did you see it see it's still loading it's still loading that's ridiculous okay here are the five sprites now shiny finally the mother tree has grown as big and tall as it was before the harvest goddess can come back now she can come back to the island i guess she can so happy that you're crying oh look now alan is crying usually it's only edge that can do that Okay, another recipe? <laughs> What's the recipe? Don't worry, we all- okay, awesome. <sighs> well, thank God that we don't actually have to make another one. We just need your help to mix it. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Edge's love. Oh God, what, it's everybody's love? Okay, I'm not going to do the whole mix, mix, mix thing because I've done it way too much. Basically, the five ingredients are Edge's love, Darren's love, Colin's love, Ben's love, and Alan's love. Okay? It's love. It's kind of like, you know, the recipe of Krabby Patties or like the fake one. Where Plankton discovered what you needed and then, and then one of the recipes was like, A cup of love. And I was like, what? A cup of love, really? And then one of them was like plankton, you know? That was a recipe and that was just, that scared the living hell out of him. I remember that, I'm pretty sure you guys do too, if you were fans of that show. I mean, most people were, because that is one of the most popular ones, you know? Cartoons. Final rainbow. Okay then. And this creates, okay, let me, let me just see if my recording is not messed up. Okay, thank God it's not. Because that would have been really bad. But yeah, this creates access to the Harvest Goddess. Look at that, she's finally here. Finally. This only took 37 episodes. And I'll be honest, it was actually kind of a fast one. It really was kind of a fast series. I thought I would go to like at least 45. Thank you, Shining. Ever since the Mother Tree died. I have been trapped and unable to return to this island. You have freed me. I owe you my thanks. No problem. The mother tree and I will always watch over this island. Now, Shiny, you should go back to the town. Everyone is waiting for you. And that is a great way to end it, right? Probably. I mean, Harvest Moon games really aren't well known for their amazing storylines. It's more so for the gameplay with a very simplistic storyline, but that's pretty much it. Alright, there is me walking back now. <laughs> well, I'll be. It's shiny. Wow, you did it, shiny. What the hell? Everyone's all happy for me. And there's Renee too. I saw Renee. <laughs> He's like, you flatter me. <laughs> you brought the mother tree back to life. That's incredible. You're so cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. A wimp? Really? You saved the island. You're amazing, honey. Okay, see? And there, it's actually good. Um, she did actually call me honey. So in that scene, we are married. But in the one of... Where uh, Gray was introduced, or Blue, whatever, I forgot what the hell his name is, he uses both names for games. In that scene, she wasn't technically married with me for that scene, which is very strange. It was just weird. But there we go. That is the game. So, there is, you know, quite a number of things to say. I mean, first of all, this is actually the shortest Harvest Moon game on this channel so far. It's only 37 episodes. The main reason is because, well, this one actually... For one, to get to the credits and finish the game like this, it really doesn't take all that much to be honest, it doesn't. Magical Melody takes a long time to get all 100 notes. A Wonderful Life is actually to this date still the longest Harvest Moon game ever that has an ending point, not counting the ones like Harvest Moon 64 that doesn't... Well, I mean, I guess that one does have an ending point after after uh, three years. Because you can see what everybody's talking about, like about you. But... Certain ones actually don't have an ending point. I'm not, I'm not talking about those. But yeah, this game is fun. I mean, the graphics are definitely much better than A Wonderful Life and um, Magical Melody. 
Magical Melody used like the chibis, you know, chibi graphics kind of, which uh, some people don't actually like. I was fine with it, I was okay with it, it was okay. But, you know, as far as other things go about this game, it was actually kind of... It's a very slow game. Like, the entire feel of the game, long loading screens, a very, like, it's just... It's hard to explain, but if you're playing, you know what I'm talking about. The entire game just feels very slowed down. Every single ta thing just takes forever. From simple things like talking to someone or even an animal, which it takes like five seconds to actually get them to initiate the conversation. That was the main issue with the game. It was just very slow paced. Very laggy in a way, you know, which had problems. But aside from that, it was a pretty fun game. The only thing that I, that's weird about this game is that you are not required at all to get an animal. I did not get a single animal in the game. And to this date, I think that it's like the only Harvest Moon game that, like, kind of does that in a way, because every other Harvest Moon game, it requires one thing or another associated with animals. This game, it does, like, you know, Austin Ace, all that stuff, but you can get the stuff. You can just buy them. And even though, you know, it, I'm kind of happy that I didn't have to do that, a part of me is like, well, it, it kind of sucks that they did that too, because now there's no need for animals in the game. But anyway, I will be doing other Harvest Moon games, as always, go ahead and leave comments and recommendations as to what games you would like to see from this series. Currently, I've done A Wonderful Life, Magical Melody, and now Tree of Tranquility. So, leave a comment. You know, whether it's older games like Friends of Mineral Town or the original one for the NES, you know, or newer ones like Animal... I mean, it's not really new, but you know what I mean. Animal Parade or... What other ones are there? Oh, there's also Back to Nature for the PlayStation 1. Save the Homeland for the PS2 that I can play. Any DS or 3DS games I cannot play at the moment. And also the PSP 1 Hero of Leaf Valley. So again, I cannot play PSP, DS, or 3DS. Harvest Moon 64, possibly, but I'm working on it. It's just, um, it's hard to get all that together. It is. But I'll see. But aside from that, you know, any from GameCube, PS2, Wii... PlayStation 1, NES, Game Boy Advance. I can do all those. I can. I can play them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and save on this file. Sure. Okay. So this game is now over. And just like most Harvest Moon games, once the credits roll, they actually let you continue from the save file. You can actually continue. Load the save file and you continue infinitely. No more story, but, I mean, the game's done for me. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. And as always, until next time.